In this video, I'm going to show you how you can import optimization files into Altair Inspire that were created in other optimization tools. Now, for this example, I'm going to import an H3D file of a heatsink that was created using Altair Optistruct. Now, H3D files are typically unit lists, so you're going to have to set the measurement that you want to use on the import. So now that the file is open, you can see I have a heatsink, and this middle section has been optimized. The other two top and bottom parts have not. Then when you click on it, you can see a menu that lets you see the alternative versions, so you can see the original here as well. And then just like if this part was optimized in Inspire, if I double click it, it gives me a menu with a slider to see the different optimization options. Now I have a default to smooth the part because you can see the shape change a little bit if you don't. And then the slider is how you can determine how much material you're removing with the shape still aligning to those optimized parameters. Then if I click this little hamburger menu here on the right hand side, it gives me some options on the smoothing. I could choose to maintain or ignore the volume of parts as you're using the slider. Now ignoring it, it might help you make more usable geometry in the end, so you can kind of play around with that. The more smoothing iterations you choose, the higher quality the part's going to look. Same with the number of faces and the curvature settings. You also have the option of auto crease, which would help create sharper edges, and the intersect just makes sure that the new polynerms part is aligned with the original design. So you can kind of see I have a lot of control over an optimized part that wasn't created in Inspire. And now that I have the general shape I'm after, I can find the polynerps menu in the ribbon and it gives me some options on how to create a new polynerps part. Now fit will basically create a new part over your existing optimized part and wrap would let you manually create new polynerps shapes based on the optimized design. So let's do a fit. You can see the same options here as you saw in the Shape Explorer menu when we were looking at the part earlier. So the more faces, the higher the curvature I set, the higher quality part, but it also will take longer to generate. Now once it completes and I have my polynerp shape, I can now modify this part if needed. It basically creates a cage where I can click on a node or a face and drag or push and pull it on it to make the new shapes if needed. So that's the fit function. Then to really quickly show you the wrap function, it basically takes the optimized shape that you created and uses that as a framework for you to manually create a polynerp shape. You can build and control it as you go along. So now that we have our polynerp shapes, they can be used for analysis or whatever else you need to do in Inspire. If you have any other questions on optimized parts or Alter Inspire, visit www.trueinsight.io. Thanks.